Taylor Bennett, broker at the Bennett Property Shop. We're about to start one of our new tours at one of our fantastic listings at 28 Vanessa. We are found in Barhaven, kind of the northwest part of Barhaven, one of the original parts of Barhaven here. So a lot of parks in and around this area, a lot of schools in and around this area here. A very family-oriented neighborhood here, which is why it's so popular. Now, we're about to start the tour, but as always, I like to start on the outside here and kind of show what's going around here. And you can see here... Very, very pedestrian friendly on, on the side. What we can't quite see, but this is technically a semi-detached property, but it's attached between the garage and the house. So you actually have a garage separating you between the house. So you're not really actually attached to your neighboring property. You're actually attached to the garage there. So it's really like a detached home and it's got the size of a detached home, not like a typical semi-detached, but let's have a tour on the inside and show you what that will give you. Let me just slide off my boots. As you come in through the entrance here, a nice, nice entrance here. You've got your powder bathroom on this side here. So if you have to use the facilities, it's actually got the protective tile floor. So you can leave your boots on if you really had to. And you can see that powder room has been updated. And of course, you've got your mirrored closet doors on this side here. And a lot of storage capability. They've added the second shelf there, which is really, really important. I've toured a lot of houses and a lot of people don't make full use of their closet to keep it nice and organized. And this is likely going to be a family home and a lot of mitts and gloves as you walk on through there. Great to have that storage. Now, as we enter, you can see here, a very open concept living on the main level here. We'll tour the backyard in greater detail in just a moment. But take notice of the beautiful hardwood floors here. I love the multiple colors. It hides dust, it hides grime. So if you do have, again, a busy family and you don't always have time to clean all the time, it's nice to disguise a little bit of mess on the floor here. Let's head upstairs. We'll tour upstairs first. We'll go downstairs to the finished basement as well, and then we'll wrap up the tour on the main level here. Okay, upstairs here, of course, a nice landing here, which is nice to see here. We've got three full bedrooms up here, and we've got basically what's called a cheater ensuite bathroom. And a cheater ensuite bathroom means you have access from the main hall here. If you just hang there. You also have access from inside the bedroom as well, from the master bedroom here. But it is a three-piece bathroom here, very clean, very organized, very neutral colors in here as well. Now, we'll go to the master bedroom. And true to its name, it is the biggest bedroom in the house, a very big size bed. You can see there, king size bed will fit here, no problem. And even room here, if you wanted to have a little desk, maybe a little makeup desk, maybe you wanted to have a home office in this area, plenty of space here to take advantage of. And you can see here the full wall of closets. And already, as I mentioned downstairs, we have got the maximum organization done in here. They've already got built-in shelving all throughout here and a wall of closets. So you wouldn't have to fight for storage in here whatsoever. A lot of, a lot of things to take advantage of in this room here. And the two windows bringing in that natural light as well. Now across the hall, we've got the other two bedrooms here. We'll start with the smallest. While being the smallest, it is difficult always to judge exactly how big the room would actually be. Again, I'm 5'8", so my wingspans are roughly about 5'8", so you're probably looking at around 8 to 9 feet or so by about 10 feet or so in this area here. This would be perfect for a home office, a young child's bedroom. you got nice full storage in here as well with the two shelving up here. And I love the wainscoting detail in here. It just adds a little bit of extra detail that you just don't typically get in a lot of bedrooms. And then the medium-sized bedroom here. Great for another young child's bedroom in here. A queen size bed would likely fit in here. And again, to give you a little bit of uh, spatial awareness, five eights, again, my span here, you're probably looking about nine to 10 feet or so in terms of the width. And you're probably close to 11 to 12 feet in terms of the depth. And just like the other closets, it's already already been organized here for you. You don't have to worry about customizing your own closets. I like to note that because I'm trying to do that with my own closet and it's taking me a very long time the supplies chain is very short right now, so it's nice to already have that done in a house for you. Now we'll head downstairs to the finished basement and give you a tour there. Now as we get down to the basement entrance, the first door that greets us here is the entrance to the garage, which obviously a single car garage here, you would enter in through here, you could enter through the house as we just came through and it does have access to the backyard as well so if you had your lawnmower or lawn equipment stored back here you wouldn't have to go around your house you could go right through your garage 
And I also want to point out the covered part of the porch here, which we're not going to have a chance really to see when we do the tour from the patio doors, but you can see that covered area there. I like to barbecue year round, so it would be fantastic to have that utility there, a little bit of protection from the elements. But even in the summer, it does rain in the summer, it's nice to have that protection. The worst thing to ruin a family barbecue is just a nice storm pouring down on that, so you get some protection there. Now we'll head on down. Finished area of the basement that you see here. Nice high ceilings down here. You see here there's two windows in here behind me as well, but a big open rec room area, TV room if you will, home gym, home office, whatever you nice. It's nice separated from the rest of the house and a big, big area to take advantage of in here. And then we've also got some unfinished area down here, which not the most exciting things to see necessarily, but they are essential parts of the home and a very clean, unfinished area down here. We've got all the utility. You've got your hot water tank, your furnace, of course, your washer and dryer stackable that you see here, and a lot of extra storage capability in there. Because again, this is going to be a family home. You're going to have things, hockey equipment, Christmas decorations, whatever you might need. It's nice to have that storage down here. You don't have to just use your garage. Now let's go upstairs and look at the rest of the living room and the backyard. Okay, so we're back up here again to orient you. Here's the nice kitchen. We'll tour this a little bit more in detail here now, but the seller did make some customizations. They really opened up this area. A lot of homes in this area have this full wall that you see here. So you have a secluded kitchen, secluded living room, dining room area, but here you take advantage of the light. And you can put window cabinets on here as well too, so you actually have more light shining through here. A nice white kitchen, a lot of storage in here, storage all underneath here as well white appliances to match and I always like seeing a window in the kitchen you don't always find those especially in some of the smaller homes townhouses semi-detached homes you don't typically get windows in your kitchen but we do here which is great to see because it's you're doing your cooking you're doing your uh, doing your thing in the kitchen it's nice to have that extra light coming through here now big l-shaped living space in here big pieces of furniture in here as well they certainly don't dominate the room so if you do have oversized furniture a townhouse might be a little bit too small a little bit too narrow this probably has about five or six extra feet in width so you do have a little bit more width versus a traditional townhouse here and then lastly the backyard here a fully fenced backyard so if you have little critters you don't want to run away nice to have those elements there a nice storage shed back there for your lawn equipment or gardening things as well and again you get that covered porch that i pointed out earlier and a nice big deck there too for great for home barbecues and great for uh, family gatherings as well so guys i hope you enjoyed that tour again the address here is 28 vanessa we are here in barhaven if you want to have a tour on your own you can give us a call at 613-233-8606 or check us out at benapros.com